Hey guys, it's Rumblin' Man here, and in today's video, we're gonna do a review of the DR Strings Dragon Skin Coated Bass Strings. Let's check out how they sound real quick and stay tuned. <laughs> So hey, those strings sound pretty sweet. Uh, they feel pretty sweet. I mean, I've got them set up on this bass here. Uh, big shout out to uh, my buddy John Howard, bass player for the band Six Wire for hooking me up with these strings today. Uh, he is a DR artist and he's constantly uh, looking to spread the word and certainly doing a great job. This is your first time, or if you're a repeat viewer, welcome or welcome back to the Rumbling Man channel. On this channel, we take a look at basses, guitars, pedals, strings, amps, effects, anything and everything having to do with being a guitar or bass player. So if you have not been here before and are not already one of my subscribers, do me a favor, go on and smash the subscribe button. And if you wanna see my videos as soon as they come out, go in and hit the bell as well to stay informed. I really do have a passion for bass strings. In fact, you can see a whole playlist right here on YouTube of bass strings and guitar strings uh, that I have reviewed uh, on this channel on YouTube here. But honestly, I've reviewed a lot more bass strings than I have guitar strings just because I'm really passionate about bass strings. I, I think that bass strings create a different dynamic than electric guitar strings do because bass strings, you know, when you play the bass, your hands are having, both your hands are having a lot more contact with the strings, usually even than you do on an electric guitar. Uh, because of that, uh, we want to look at strings in terms of how they feel. We want to look at strings in terms of how they sound because different types of strings feel and sound differently, believe it or not. Even subtle differences can make a world of actual difference uh, in your hands or in your plugged in tone. So today's strings that we're looking at, which are the Dragon Skin Bass Strings by DR, these are coated round wound stainless steel strings. Now coated strings meaning that uh, beyond the bass string itself there is going to be some type of coating that's going to give the string a uh, longer life, that's going to protect its longevity, um, etc. And DR strings prides themselves on having coated strings that sound as good as or better than um, uncoated strings. Uh, as far as my opinion about how they sound goes, we'll get to that uh, a little bit more toward the end of the video, but real quick I just want to give you some uh, stat ideas. So obviously, you know, recently I reviewed some Elixir coated strings uh, and we looked at what they have to offer with their coated bass strings. Uh, the DR strings coating is a very different type of coating uh, than Elixir's NanoWeb uh, string coating. Uh, DR strings coating is called the K3 coating technology. And this is the same coating technology that you find on all of DR strings coated bass strings, including uh, the Black Beauties, the Silver Stars, and the Neons. Speaking of the Black Beauties, these strings are actually very, very similar uh, to DR's Black Beauty strings. So if you, re honestly, I recommend if you really like the Black Beauty strings, but you wish that they felt a little more like, you know, regular stainless steel bass strings, this will be right up your alley. These strings and the Black Beauties, which I have reviewed right here on YouTube, and you can see my full review of the Black Beauty strings right here on YouTube, in which I use this same bass and one other. Um, those strings are made the same way as these. They're also stainless steel. They're also using the K3 coating by DR Strings. The only real difference between the two is that the Black Beauties are black coated and the Dragon Skins are clear coated. And whereas you would think that that makes a difference only in terms of color and in terms of how the strings look, 
I've actually found that there's quite a bit of difference. Um, these these strings feel a little more like regular bass strings than the Black Beauties. In my review of the Black Beauties, I referred to them as feeling a little slippery to the hands. You know, I had trouble slapping on them and stuff. Well, these are a little less slippery to the hands. You can really feel those stainless steel ridges, you know, a little more like you would in a regular set of bass strings. And then also, whereas the color uh, of the Black Beauty strings is they are black strings. Uh, these look a lot more like your usual uh, stainless steel bass strings. They look very similar to other stainless steel bass strings I've used. So let's do another hard rock demo real quick and let's see how these things sound in the mix. Coated strings, you know, are known to really give you uh, a long-term survival. But the compromise you get with coated strings is you usually have compromise in tone. Now, DR advertises that you do not compromise tone at all with these coated strings. In my personal experience, however, I don't find that to be the case. To me, they don't sound like uncoated stainless steel strings. To me, uncoated stainless steel strings sound much brighter. Uh, you can, you know, you can play them better. They're, the contact with your with your hands, you know, is really dead on with regular stainless steel strings. These coated strings, to me, uh, it does deaden the sound and kind of, honestly, kind of scoop out uh, some high end and maybe some high mids. That said, you be the judge. I mean, you've heard uncoated strings and listening to these coated strings. If they sound like what you're looking for, you may very well be interested in trying out a set. As far as DR's coated strings go, my favorite tend to be the neon strings because there actually is a difference uh, between, you know, the Black Beauties and Dragon Skins, which, uh, you know, kind of have that slightly grittier, more familiar feeling to the neons. Because whereas um, the Dragon Skins, you know, the Silver Stars, the Black Beauties, you know, they all have the K3 coating technology. Well, DR's neon bass strings have high definition K3 coating technology. And whereas these strings are stainless steel, DR's neon coated bass strings are nickel plated steel. Now, what we know about nickel plated steel is that it's still very bright, uh, but it's gonna be a little more friendly to your hands. It's more of a smooth feel. So if you're looking you know, to stick with DR and get some really cool strings, I recommend checking out the neons too because they're really sweet. Uh, but what I have noticed is the neons do have a much warmer tone. Uh, even than the Dragon Skins. Another set of DR bass strings that I reviewed and really liked a lot that I think is a very versatile set is uh, an uncoated set called the DR Strings Pure Blues Bass Strings. They are just straight up uncoated nickel plated steel strings. I had them on a bass for a long time and I loved to sit and slap the crap out of that bass. Uh, for me personally with these K3 strings, I have a hard time uh, slapping on the dragon skins and the black beauties my hand you know slips a lot so for me personally i'm more likely to play them with a pick like i've been doing in the demos on today's video
have had a great experience uh, playing on these and enjoy them very much. They're some of the finest uh, coated bass strings I've ever had the opportunity to use. That said, before any of us can say what our favorite strings are, we really need to try everything out there, right? And so that's what I've been trying to do, you know, in reviewing all these different sets of bass strings and, and buying and, and, you know, using and everything. I'm always trying to figure out, well, what are my favorite strings? And I think my favorites are gonna end up being some uncoated bass strings just because of the purity that you get in the sound um, as well as uh, the more articulate feeling to your hands. That said, if you don't want to take my word for it and you want to try for yourself, I've got a link in the description of this video to where you can purchase uh, some excellent uh, DR dragon skin bass strings for yourself. Okay, guys, thanks so much for checking out this video today. We got more string videos coming up. Uh, I released one the other day, rounds versus flats on my P bass. Really cool video, they got some sweet feedback. We got all kinds of stuff coming up. In fact, in the demos that you heard today in this video, the guitar parts, the electric guitar parts you heard, were played with this Lakeland Skyline 65S electric guitar behind me. And if you're watching in spring or early summer of 2020, I'm actually giving this guitar away. So you wanna check out that video for uh, the ability to enter into uh, the giveaway we have going on. So we got lots of fun stuff going on, so feel free to subscribe. If you got value out of this content, enjoy the demo today, go on and smash the thumbs up button. You can also hit me up on social media. You can like me on the Facebook, uh, or you can follow me on Instagram, all kinds of ways to connect, but it mostly points right back here to the Rumbling Man channel, which is where the action happens. If you're one of my regular viewers and you're interested in supporting this channel uh, beyond a subscription, uh, I have Patreon set up to where you can do that. We have had a few more people join up on Patreon lately, which has been great. I actually, at this point in time, for the first time in years, I actually don't currently have a job. Like, I'm not currently employed. So I'm scrambling, trying to make a living between doing YouTube and then playing live shows several days out of the week, which is why my voice probably sounds uh, tired. So if you really would like to help me keep going uh, by being a patron, then you can check out my Patreon. The link is in the description of this video. We got a lot of cool tiers and stuff, uh, a lot of cool ways to get involved with that. Uh, that said, there's never any pressure to any of you to do that uh, because really what I want is for you to be blessed by the content on the channel. So thanks so much. Let me know in the comments, what are your favorite bass strings and do you like coded or uncoated? Have you used the dragon skins? I would love to chat about it with you, okay? God bless you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.